downloadable app used to help the public and law enforcement exchange information using email and social media. Uh, this app has been in front of law enforcement at different kinds of expos all over the nation. Uh, I'm here today to basically tell you about it. Is that it? First of all, thank you all so much for coming. It's a great night. Thank you, Big Apps. Uh, how many of you are renters? Show of hands. Renters? All right, cool. Probably more of you. Cool, awesome. So. What we've developed is TextRiley.com. It's a phone number that you text to find your next home. 740-478-4021. And all that is is that. You tell Riley what it is that you're looking for, and Riley sends you three leads that match exactly what you're looking for for your next home. If you're looking for a rental, a, a home to buy, an office space, if you need a mover, Riley is your one number, your personal assistant for real estate. All right, hey everybody, I'm Jay Van Buren and my company is Mimbit. Mimbit is an app that allows you to take a picture and leave it in space. You leave it right where you took it. And it's there like a magic window floating in space showing the past. Um, it could be the past of five minutes ago, it could be the past of 100 years ago. It uses a patent pending process that's more accurate than GPS. It's called HPS, the Human Positioning System. You kind of have to see it to understand what it does, so come and find me and I'll do you a little demo from our prototype. I am looking for um, iOS developers, and I'm also looking for funding, so if anyone can help me with either one of those things, find me or James Pearson right over there. I have a good passion for art and sculpture in New York City, so what I've been doing for the last five, and five plus years is about, I've been cataloging every public art sculpture and monument throughout New York City. And I've built a whole infrastructure around this, i built a lot of the back-end databases, i built the API. So kind of what I'm looking for is someone that's also interested in art and sculpture and that's willing to work with me and help me kind of build out an end, the end user experience. This could be a content writer, this could be a, a front end developer, a UI designer. And obviously the best place to, to find me, I posted the project on the uh, Big Apps website uh, last night. Post, post your name, post if you're interested, and let's certainly talk about it. Because I have the content, I've been everywhere from, you know, all the way up in the Bronx to all the way down in Staten Island. So, if there's a public art sculpture in New York City, I've seen I photographed it and I've researched it. So, uh, anyone interested, please find me, and uh, I'm certainly looking for people to help out and have the similar interests as I do. So, what our company does is we have a civic platform that makes it easy to uh, produce mobile apps for on top of open data. And we mainly work with IT departments, but for this big app competition, what we're working, who we're working with is the YWCA girls. So we've been working with them and teaching them how to do open data. And so at this year, they were working on a project that had to do with affordable housing. So we thought, why don't you enter an application into the, uh, to the NYC big apps? So we're working with those girls, they're high school girls, and they're gonna enter a competition uh, for the affordable housing project under. None of them could be here tonight, but we don't know what their project's going to be yet, but they looked at the open data sets and that's those are the ones that they decided they wanted to use. So when it comes to voting and so forth, think about these high school girls producing mobile apps for, uh, for, uh, uh, for open data and hopefully we'll get your vote. Hi everyone, my name is Sanjay Panitana and I'm with Simplify. We enable political organizations to rally their more time-constrained supporters to those who traditionally don't engage. Rather than trying to get them to call or write the representatives, now they just need to come to our site once, tell us that they trust that organization, and then they're done. The organization takes a stance on legislation, we attribute it to their profile, and we email their elected officials for them. So for users, it's a very easy way to hold your representatives accountable. Just tell us who you trust, and then as your, vote, as your elected officials vote, if they vote in line with the organizations you trust, their grades go up. If they vote in line against the organizations that you trust, their grades go down. So easy way to hold your representatives accountable. Uh, we're looking for marketers and developers, so if you're interested, come find me. Thanks. Now, Barry from PYRN and Vietna from 666. <laughs> a software developer who accidentally became a partner in a property management company. And um, in that time, I developed an intuition for certain pain points that residents throughout New York City had. And I started playing with New York City's open data and realized that well, New York City actually does a pretty good job at keeping track of how well buildings are managed. And I figured that we can rank property management companies based on how they manage their entire portfolio using New York City's open. And so that's what I did. So now, before you move into a building, you can see if you're about to move in with a slumlord or if you're on the board of your condo or co-op. 
when you're looking to hire a management company, you can vet them before you hire some um, incompetent management company. So this, this is not necessarily a business, but we're just looking to see how people might use this and what might come out of it. So I'm looking to just hear what pain points people have and maybe if we could figure out a way to address this using this data that New York City opened up to us. That's it, that's my story. So I'm here with my team, which is Fix Me. So Fix Me, we're here on a theme of connecting cities, right? So we allow the individuals to see a pothole that's maybe outside right here, right? I was speaking to someone by the name of Sage earlier today, one of the mentors, and she said it to me that she got into, you know, a couple potholes and there was an issue for her. So now what we're simply doing is we're allowing the contractors, right, to be able to see this in real time, and we're allowing you as a New York City resident to be able to be active and connect to say, hey, this is a problem that's on my street, this is a problem that I've seen, and we need to have this fixed. Not only now do you allow, do you have the opportunity to seamlessly connect to the city itself to now build this infrastructure or help it become more sustainable and bring it back to its glorious days, you now take a picture and in real time it transposes so now the contractors are able to see it, but not even the contracts, not the city itself, they're now able to go in and deliver and fix that problem, right? But then you, a track record you're able to see seamlessly how much capital is going in there so your tax paying dollars now you're able to track it and not only are you tracking the, the, the dollars that are going into making your streets you know able for you to drive on a walk on but you're okay okay i'm robin gerber from car car and i have a question for everybody in the room so i want you to raise your hands if you've ever been frustrated by street parking and finding a parking spot Okay, <laughs> clearly you can see that's a lot of hands, and if your hands isn't raised, you're, you're probably lying, you're shy. <laughs> but um, Parkard is essentially an iOS app, um, and we are about two weeks away from launching, um, submitting to the App Store. And what Parkard does is connect those leaving their street parking spots with those looking for street parking spots. So it's essentially a crowdsourced data system of parking. And I am looking for a CTO and a CMO. Um, we're already incorporated. My developer is going to London in the fall, and she's great to help transition the next CTO that comes on. And we've got a lot of interest from investors, so it's just a few weeks away from um, becoming a huge success. So if you are interested, please come up to me after this, and thank you. Yeah, has anyone here ever had a chair or an old TV or a box of books and just put it out on the paper? Has anyone done that? Has anyone walked past and gone, oh yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> yeah. So it's so easy to look at an existing problem and try to change behavior. Why not just find existing behavior and amplify it and make it amazing for everyone? I, I'd kind of like to introduce you to an idea called Treasures. It's a simple mobile app that turns getting rid of the stuff you want into a generous act of giving. And getting the stuff you want becomes fun and immediate. What you do is you walk out with your mobile phone, you put down what you don't want, you take a photo of it, you tag it, you describe it, and you leave it there until the time when you have to take it back in. And then if you're looking for something, you can tell us on the app, or you can just be open to opportunity. Beacons will let you know just when something in the area has become available. Suddenly we're connecting people, we're making less waste, we're creating an app that will be treasured by the city. We're treasures and we think we've got an answer. Thank you for your time. A career affordable housing developer uh, and, and developer as in not software. Um, I do have a developer here, but I'm not a software developer. I have developed about a hundred million dollars worth of affordable housing over my career, and uh, had a short stint in the federal government, running uh, ma managing a federal housing program, and realized that about 14, 15 years ago when I was with with the, the government that that low-income people and middle-income people had absolutely no place on the internet to find affordable housing opportunities. Um, there was plenty of apartments.com before Jeff Goldman got involved. Kelsey Carlos from Buy Me Buy. <laughs> Hello, I'm Natasha Green. Um, I'm actually a junior web developer with Young Rails full stack. 
I'm actually an entrepreneur. I have my own RG business. So the app I'm suggesting is not being built. It's not built yet. It's just an idea. So the idea I come with you today with is that many city council members and community boards try to get in contact with their constituents. And the constituents want to get in contact with them. So how is, how is it done? Well, not really. It's not done. They forward one piece of material one at a time. So my idea is to create an auto-populated newsletter that will allow city council members or community board to have instantaneous information from you guys. Like if you have an event, share it with the community board and they'll now have a way of accepting or denying some events and now pushing it to 10 million, 1,000, how many people? And I'm looking for a senior developer or mentor to suggest how to build this project. It's a fun project. Um, that's about it. Thank you. A minute on the dot. <laughs> My name's Carlos. I'm uh, one fourth of uh, Team Buy Me Buy. Klaus is over there. He's our CTO. Uh, Buy Me Buy is a mobile app that lets you see what's expiring around you. And as things get closer to expiring, and I'm talking about food here, um, as things get closer to expiring, they get cheaper. And so you get discounts, and also the store gets to kind of sell things that would normally get thrown away. This is our approach at kind of uh, fighting food waste here in New York. We're looking for a front developer, and also uh, if you happen to be an executive at a major uh, supermarket, uh, feel free to talk to us as well. Uh, also, if you can do front development, uh, yeah, please come talk to us. Uh, thank you very much. Even a third of New Yorkers are poor. Half of the food stamps and childcare and welfare benefits are left on the table every year. That's $80 billion nationally. We believe that these folks are not dumb. We've developed an app, it's called Benefit Kitchen. You can see it at benefitkitchen.com. Families can put information about their income, family size, and other information into the app, and they will be told exactly what they can get for food stamps, childcare, welfare, 18 federal, state, and local benefits. They can use that information that they get from the app to go and apply for these benefits. We have a lot of information that can help them follow up. Summer 2015 is the pre uh, premium code to use if you want to give it a try. App.benefitkitchen.com. See if you're eligible. Sasha, um, founder of Art Walk. Uh, you've probably wandered around the city like me and wondered what's this thing in front of you. Um, for example, the, uh, the charging bowl on Wall Street, what's the story behind that? Uh, if you research, you might find out it's actually an illegal sculpture that was dumped underneath the Wall Street Christmas tree. Or um, the uh, Brooklyn Bridge, for example, the engineer who built it was actually killed essentially by a ferry. Pretty ironic and sad. Uh, it still got built uh, miraculously. Uh, so there's tons of stories around New York City that are really amazing and that make this city what it is today. Uh, but they're really difficult to find. Guidebooks don't really do a good job. So we built an app that lets you walk around. Uh, it tells you where you are, obviously, and what's in front of you. And you can explore all the fascinating stories of New York City. Uh, it's essentially a guidebook, a mobile guidebook to, to the city. So uh, we're looking for engineers, marketers, researchers, anybody else that's interested, come talk to me. Thanks. Woo! Rise. Um, what we're doing is like we're developing a platform that connects. Sorry. <laughs> so we're developing a platform that connects uh, sellers and buyers of by products. So to give you an example, if I'm a beer company, my main by product is a beer stand ready. I can either give it to the landfill or I can maybe give it to the animals. But there are like some. There, there are so many things I can do with it. I can make cookies, I can make muffins, I can make a bread, I can make granola, I can make additives. So, because there, there are still not these connections made, it's hard to do it. So what we're doing is this platform that connects. And at this moment we're looking for uh, marketers and we're also looking for developers. So if, and if you're interested, just go to risemarketplace.com. Thank you. Sir entrepreneur and engineer. Trash is a major problem in NYC, so I've invented the eCan. It's a zero waste device, aka smart trash can, that auto sorts your trash. So you put something in, it'll do machine learning and, and put it in the right bin. Uh, it's got free Wi-Fi, you can charge your phone on it, it's solar powered. It also provides an advertising platform, so if you scan your Snickers bar, 
you'll get a coupon. Uh, you can keep track of your footprint online. We've already sold five units. We have nine prototypes. We have our first one going into downtown Brooklyn any day. We partnered with Action Carding Cusp. We've received funding uh, from an investor and the Shuttleworth Foundation. We've donated to two schools, including NYU. It teaches people about waste. Our future plans will be providing a uh, way to end food waste, to uh, give it to others and keep it fresh. We're looking for salespeople. Uh, we're raising a seed round, looking for more investors. Anyone who wants to help out, let me know. Last year, we were a top finalist. This year, we're looking to win. Find me, thank you. What we're doing at Equality Fund is connecting local residents to opportunities to give and volunteer in a neighborhood. So the way we want to do it is to be able to map out uh, all the assets in a community. How many of you actually know what neighborhood nonprofits are in your uh, community? Now a lot of us really want to uh, do something to promote the local economy and the only way that we can do that is to walk into a local business, but that doesn't really fight off gentrification or actually uh, help the local uh, residents uh, across different income levels. So the app that we want to be able to develop is a way for uh, individuals who live in a certain uh, close-knit neighborhood um, are able to see what opportunities there are to volunteer and give. I'll give you an example. So, for example, there might be a housing uh, project where there is a community program to get kids to have lunch in the parks. They might need to have food donated and they might need to have uh, somebody to take the kids. And this app will be able to alert you on your uh, mobile device of an opportunity to donate 10 to 50 to 100 dollars to pay for that opportunity from the comfort of your home or from your office so that a volunteer can go and have that really great experience for someone in your neighborhood. Thank you. How many of you have driven into New York City and parked in a spot and said, what is that crazy sign in front of me? How does that relate to the crazy sign behind me? <laughs> I'm seeing some nods. So recently the New York City Department of Transportation released uh, their sign database for all the five boroughs in New York City. And what we're trying to do is take that and correlate that to a time and location and say, can I park here and once you understand that you can do a whole bunch of beautiful things okay I'm parking in the next three minutes when do I need to switch sides for alternate streets and parking and where did I leave my parking spot and where could I possibly park if I'm driving to this location uh, so we're looking for product managers we have three engineers I'm one of them and uh, we're looking for a product manager we're looking for UI UX people just to kind of help us out within New York City we are based in New Jersey I'm sorry um, but please come talk to me Thank you. <laughs> I have one quick announcement, one follow-up pitch, which is that Artwalk is on the App Store. It can be downloaded from artwalk.city. And before we break, thank you all so much for coming. You can hang out for a while, mingle, talk to each other, learn from each other. Uh, do not leave tonight without grabbing a sheet of paper on the way out to list all of our upcoming events. We have four more events happening this month, and there'll be more in September. We're really excited to see you all again. And also, please, if you have a project and you're working on something, go to bigapps.nyc, create a project page, create a team page, start recruiting team members. Let us know what you're doing so we can send you some advice. Thank you all so much.